last single exciting. player campaign. It's about what you will see is really those moments. Well, at least, Bat well, at least Battlefield has a single player campaign this year, unlike some other piece of garbage. The men and the women. <coughs> yes. Yes. Oh, real and real and relatable people facing the brutality of war. Don't we you mean Call of no, 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 no. Let, let me stop and, them right uh, there. The war story over at Do not Xbox dare Britain say world. you can relate right, to being in to a war zone tomorrow. unless you've so, actually been over, in a war zone. Beginning. Don't you dare also, disrespect veterans like that. That is unacceptable, EA. Unacceptable. It's Royale. I, I reported on this, and it's happening again. Even Battlefield has a Battle Royale mode that nobody cares about! Team play vehicles into this new experience. As consumers, watching movies, watching TV, listening to music... One of those, one of those things does not belong in the same sentence as the other. Take a wild guess, ladies and gentlemen. ...on our industry in the next few years. And so over the last couple of weeks, you will have seen that we announced a new team from Israel... Uh, subscription services? Bullseye! Got it in one! Our thinking and extend our oh, by the way, I've got my E3 viewing party here as well. Yeah, I saw him. going to mean extending the experiences they already play on our partner platforms. For others, it's going to mean... Unfortunately, Tails has kind of fallen asleep already. ...a whole variety of platforms. Yeah, no kidding. It... He it's obviously thinks this is boring. Anytime. So this week we've got no. a demo running. No wonder. Oh. Can I go back to sleep now, James? <laughs> sure, no problem. Until it's not take a problem. As long as you need. It's just typical. It's your typically a nonsense. But it is a promise of what we hope to bring you in the future. Promises you're never able to keep. Of course, is subscription. And we started subscription a number of years ago, and many millions of you have signed up and experienced the joy of being able to have full access to a great catalogue of games. Today, we're announcing Origin Access Premiere. So three things you need to Goody! Origin Access Premiere will bring you all of our new PC games, starting with Madden NFL, back on the PC for the first time in over a decade. Then FIFA Congratulations on finally catering to the goal and of course Anthem. And there'll be many more titles in the years to come. Congratulations so on finally catering to the almighty PC Master Race! From EA and other publishers. Fritter, Origin Insiders already has been a thing in Origin for over a friggin' year. Yeah. Come in and play a yeah. trial of Origin Yeah, Access the reason why I say the congratulations on finally catering to the PC Master Race is because they are in America, they are very passionate about the NFL. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, seriously, Fraser. I upgraded to a GTX 1060 for this. Exactly. The hardcore nerds out there who want to know, like, where in the timeline, like, what between which episodes? Well, no shit. The Empire's between at its peak. Between three and four. Okay. All right. Between, between three and four. four. So it's basically it's Rogue it's One. It it's basically it's Rogue it's One. That's it's basically what it is. It's a dark time. Jedi Fallen Order is basically Rogue and, One in the uh, games. Does that mean it's gonna just be all dark and serious? It's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. All right, so I think people are now anxiously want to know, like, what, when can we play the game? Uh, it will be holiday of next year. Well, I'm not. Year, this game's going to fail, and EA's going to uh, shut down in the exact same way that the Command & Conquer did. James, EA will never shut down. The studios and, uh, will shut down, we'll yes, but EA we'll are going to keep publishing their adventure. games. Because well, <laughs> they're making a lot of money through EA Access and Origin today. Access uh, anyway, so they're pretty much in safe so hands. Toss it over to Dennis. Coming out of the gates sprinting like we really wanted to, we had to take a step back and make sure that we were delivering the oh. game that our oh. players really wanted. You should have done so that right out of the gate to begin with, you clowns! And add a bunch Heroes of inside loot boxes? For players to collect no. So from there, 
Why do you, why do you think they lost three billion dollars worth of stock since after the game launched? With the Ewoks That's right, billion and with a big capital B, <laughs> emboldened as well you, and underlined uh, while we're at we, it. Um, it That's yes, how badly they failed with Battlefront 2. The game and the team loved building Ewok hunt. So, as you might Ewok know, hunt. Oh great, we're gonna be killing Ewoks now. What's next? From the movie, what next? Coming, What's next? For Battlefront 3, we're gonna be killing. We're gonna be killing the Borgs. A really dangerous place, and it features the. And all of them caught our bank balances. So <sighs> that wouldn't surprise bit, me. This summer, we will be introducing a new squad system to the game, which will allow you to team up much easier and play with your friends. <laughs> if they can get connected to the servers. A new star the missile when the bar fills up. We'll fire the missile. It takes two missiles to destroy the enemy's base and win. Um, okay. Well, it's good that you're explaining how the Let's game works, but, Absolutely. uh, can we Our get a title for said awesome game? Where are the today. details? Of the room, if you could oh, that's give right. EA don't do details. RTS players there is. Make some noise for in control. Yay! Yeah. Somebody I do not even know. His opponent fighting for the red. That's a better be another Command and Conquer game. James, you are aware they shut down Westwood Studios, right? Yes, I know. So, how are they going to make another Command and Conquer game without Westwood Studios? That's because EA still owns the intellectual property. Therefore, they can make more games. All right, are the players ready? Let's get this thing going. Ready to go. You Let's might want to you uh, oh, might want to off a nice little strategy game for those yes. of you out there. It's a good genre. I'm very excited for this. The players are loading in and we are ready to the match. Here we go. Oh god. Come on. It's yeah. another MOBA. Give us the title of the game. Like That's all I want to know. Will be the focus. We right. have the I mean, fair enough, we're actually getting some gameplay, but I want the name of the game. Rhino Tank. Right, let's see if he's able to create a two on one. Is he able to get there? Looks like he's getting there. Here comes oh, for Pete's sake! What? It's a mobile game! And I was half expecting it to be a blooming console game. It's a mobile game. You know what? I don't want to live in the plant on on this planet anymore. Right. I'm Thank sorry. you, Professor Farmsworth from Futurama. He's done a great job of holding that down with the turret, and now he's redeploying his vehicles to the south side, bringing up more Come on, EA! I just want the game title. That's all I want now. And in control brings out his first tank. That's going to be used to try and help push back these smaller forces as he makes his way to the south side. That missile passing halfway now. Oh, there it is. Zone, two okay. zones in control of Nick at night. He will have the missiles. We see it starts to point towards in control's base. Let's see if in control can get around to that top corner, able to halt that missile. He does contest the missile, putting it into the yellow position. Now, very important, of course, blocking the, the pathing of those units is another big factor for the strategy. Holding those locations is so crucial. As in control begins right to secure the northwest spot, another tank's gonna come out from Nick at night to take it out. But now he's bringing out the pit bull as well to help lock down that north position. This missile is very, very close to firing. Let's see what's gonna happen. With another turret, in control flanks, he takes the top of that missile and that fires. fires. Off. Wow. And Nick at night, one shot away from being knocked out here. As the next one will start to ready up in just a moment. Hang on, man. Controls very heavy artillery force doing a great oh, job at right. taking control of the map. Yep. And we can see as more of Nick and Knight's forces move up towards that north position, those harvesters, of course, are crucial, very important to protect those as your economy allows you to get these big late game units. The units are going to come out a bit more slowly as you get more of them on the field. But in control, just spreading his forces out, trying to hold this advantage that he's had so yeah. far. 
Nick at night is trying to get in there, but there's a great turret placement from in control, blocking and just ripping through again those infantry. <laughs> oh my word. What? More related to what we're, show, we're seeing on screen right now. One of my friends has stated, and I quote, What a brave new world we live in. Now, no loot boxes is considered a feature. How low can you stupiate? What's up? One of my friends put up a status regarding um, regarding this conference scene that now it's considered a feature to not have loot boxes. Yay! Like I said, how low can you stupiate? Freezer. Not now. James, this is the truth! I'm so but fucking uh, disappointed right now. You and me both. Because board. I don't Nick have a title get for get this get game. EA, give us a title for the game, and then I will be interested. Fraser. It's a mobile game. Command and Conquer belongs on PC. Get a clue. Try telling that to try telling that to gaming Satan himself, Andrew Wilson. What a map! Thank you so much. That was awesome. Any thoughts, guys? I just came to make mammoth tanks, so I've, I've done my job. Yeah, absolutely. That was awesome. We saw a little bit of everything right there. What's the name of the game? Nathanius, Nick at night, and in control. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw was the worldwide reveal of Command and Conquer Rivals. What? Rivals reimagines the real-time strategy experience for mobile. We're giving players complete, continuous control of their armies in you know competitive head-to-head -head matches that are I'm controlled done. by skill and strategy. I'm done. I'm done. Now rivals will be coming. You called it, James. You said it was a Command and Conquer game. I decided to announce that Android you players will it. play the pre-alpha today. So head to the Google Play Store, search Command & Conquer Rivals. The studio has been having an absolute blast playing this game, and we can't wait for you to play. Please let us know what you think. Disrespectful because there was no tribute to Total Biscuit. I am severely disrespected. How dare you, PC Gaming Show? How dare you not pay tribute to Total Biscuit? How dare you?